Rather than a gym challenge, in Pokemon Journeys they have the World Coronation Series, which is a global tournament and we see Ash's rank rise and fall in the anime. And every time it did so, I kept asking what determined that. After a lot of research, I stand with the solution. So ranks are generally done with an equation so they can be automated. The most commonly used ones are ELO and True Skill. In short, the ELO equation makes it so players of similar ranks gain the most points from each other. If someone who's a master joins in, their low rank would allow them to advance quickly if they beat another master. But if the master beat them, the master's rank would hardly change at all. The True Skill equation was made by Microsoft, and the more games you play, the less malleable your rank is, so a master would lose little in a loss, whereas a new player will gain and lose a lot of points until they settle into what their quote-unquote True Skill Zone is. With more research, I found there's a lot of variables that can determine rank changes between different sports and esports. It almost always involves the rank gap between players though, so that's where I started. I made note of certain criteria that might affect the ranks just in case, and thankfully I didn't need them. <laughs> so to determine the World Coronation Series equations, I looked up and watched as many matches as I could from the Pokemon anime and took note of Ash's rank before and after the battle and the rank of his opponent whenever I could. With this, I could gauge the coefficient used in each class, including for losses. I discovered the normal class win was 0 0.7904. I promise that's the longest one. Great class wins were 1.83, and the ultra class was 0 0.49. With the coefficients in hand, I had the equation. The rank gained is equal to the class coefficient times the difference in rank. From here, I found the loss coefficient from Ash's losing streak was 0 0.29, and this number was actually believable for not just the great class, but for every class. So in every round, there's an equation for how much the winner goes up based on class and rank gap, and how much the loser goes down based on just the rank gap. I was ready to plug everything in until I realized that this would make Oliver rank 916, and that's not even possible in the normal class. So this meant Oliver had to be a lower rank than Ash. I could invent an arbitrary number and see if that worked, or like with the losses, the equation might go for beating both higher and lower ranked opponents. I chose to arbitrarily go with 0.5 or half the rank gap, which made Oliver in the 8000s versus Ash in the 3000s in order for Ash to gain what he did from that match. Which sounds wild, except for the fact Ash challenged someone at 2000 when his rank was 10,000 for his very first match. This made it look like the best way to rank up was beat someone as far away from your rank as possible, and wouldn't you know it, that's Ash's strategy. Oliver is the only time on screen Ash took a challenge from a lower ranked opponent, and the higher ranks always accept Ash's challenges because that rank gap gets them higher faster as well. This makes the tournament super cutthroat, which seems to match Vizquez's reaction when she found out she lost 2,288 rank from Fighting Ash, going from 2,109 to 4,397. No wonder Lieutenant Surge was going to be mad at her. Ash gained 6,000 rank from this one match, clearing more than half of the normal class in one fell swoop. The next snag in my equation was testing Karina because her coefficient was nearly 5, and in the normal class no less. This kind of increase would make it so Ash would have outranked Leon in his very first battle. So something weird was going on with this coefficient, and fortunately the narrator answered this for me. The Battle Festival Challenge is an event where trainers can raise their World Coronation Series rankings in one fell swoop. Competitors can challenge just about anyone. So for the participating trainers, this is an extremely important day. That was it. The Battle Festival Challenge has its own coefficient, which is why contestants are able to rank up so fast here. What's crazy is according to the narrator, they probably don't even have a minimum ranked requirement here. Meaning you could do the kind of power leap I was talking about before, which led me to look at Karina's rank, 1001, just two below Great Class which made me realize in order to stop Battle Festival challenges from usurping Leon, there had to be a threshold. Say, rank 1050 to 1001. Had to battle someone 
in the threshold in order to get into the great class. Anyone outside of it would bounce back to rank 1000 or 1001, meaning this is probably how Karina got her rank was by beating an opponent with a massively higher rank than her and then bouncing back to rank 1000 or 1001 when she finally challenged Ash. What the numbers of the threshold ranks are in the anime is not shown, so I estimated the reasonable ranks would be for the normal class, 10,050 to 1,000, the top 50 trainers in that class. For the great class, it would be rank 140 to rank 100, the top 40 in the great class. And in the Ultra class, it'd be rank 20 to rank 9, the top 11 in that class. Otherwise, the competitor would only get the highest rank possible in their class. Also, since we only know Ash became rank 99 after his battle with Iris, we don't know what Iris's rank is before or after, but this is probably what happened. From here, all I had to do was plug and chug and make sure nothing broke, and the only thing left was the Master class. The Master class is the top 8 ranked trainers in the WCS, so basically the best trainers in the world. There's so few here, there's no way there's an equation, nor would Leon suddenly be knocked out of the Master class if he lost to Ash in the first round. Here I came up with something I call Ascendancy Ranking. You take the rank of the person you just beat, and that person is knocked down one rank. At the time of writing, the WCS Grand Finale hasn't started yet, so until the writers prove me wrong, this is how it works. I imagine Ash will fight his way up one by one in order, so Iris, Alon, Diantha, Lance, Steven, Cynthia, and then Leon. Or it'll be a single elimination tournament where he fights Alon, then Cynthia, then Leon. One of the two. So to recap, the WCS has the Normal Class, Great Class, Ultra Class, and Master Class. You can only challenge someone in the same class as yourself, and ranks are awarded based on the rank gap and your class's coefficient. You may only advance a class when you are in the threshold ranks. Ranks deducted are based on 0.29 times the rank gap for all classes, and the Master Class is determined by Ascendancy Ranking. And that's the World Coronation Series. Thanks for watching, and I'm never doing math again.